farther out than he'd like to be, and Kirilenko fouls McGrady again. You can't reach across a guy like that. That's going to be a foul every time. An automatic foul right in front of the officials. An easy call to make. And don't you think that he's very noticeable out there on the court with that haircut? <laughs> How can you miss him? They were looking for Boozer. Now they go away from him, come right back to him again. 17-footer. Rattles and won't go. He'll sap again. Rockets just cannot find anybody to stay with this young rookie from Louisiana Tech. He's the most active player the Jazz have in the paint. He's got eight points already off the bench. Yep. You talk about a spark. Kirilenko reaches back, knocks the ball away. Still seven seconds. Norma Grady's having to work hard, fellas. And Yao tips it right into the hands of Millsap. Millsap. And a charge. Shane Bernier stepped up and drew the charge. Who else? I keep saying Millsap so much, I think I'm... Is this their go-to guy now? The rookie from Louisiana. That's a charge. Rockets have the lead. The game was throughout it. You don't want that pressure. Juwan takes it inside and is blocked by Millsap. Boozer. And he is fouled. Boozer loves that left hand. He's a right-handed player, but he finishes better with his left. And this fast break, what a nice little flip pass by Darren Williams, and Boozer goes to the left. Hey, get used to saying that, Matt. Bill, Williams to Boozer. Sounds like Stockton to Malone. Well, a nice uh, run now by the Utah Jazz. Bill, he came up big in game five. Couldn't have won without it. Five threes, I'll take that. Okura leans into Juwan. Hold on, Juwan. Chuck Hayes has got to grab Juwan and get him away from the official. It was a hard foul. The officials called the technical. Juwan's not happy, but his teammates have got to come rescue him from that situation. He's got to take him away from the official. He's going to get tossed if he doesn't. Well, Bavetta came running all the way across the court to call a technical. There's the fake now. He jumps right in. And Okura immediately and Okura jumps up into the body of Juwan. And well, Juwan, Bavetta. Juwan came down on the foul. Whenever you come down on an opponent, it, it could be considered flagrant. If you do that, you want to try to help him up. I think it was worthy of the technical. I don't hear my opinion. All right, they, they're going to call a two-shot foul and a double technical. I think. No, here's what here's oh, what, what Dick Pavetta said. There's a foul on Juwan Howard. They'll shoot two for that for the for the shot. Then a technical foul after the play on Juwan Howard, and they'll shoot one for that free throw too. So three free throws coming up, but it doesn't does not look like it's a flagrant foul. 36-35. First time in a while the Jazz have led. I expect the officials to call this much tighter now. Rafer all the way to the basket. See, they're coming off the pick and roll, and they're, they're, they're not stopping Rafer. Skip Rafer's is skipping. being aggressive and making his shots. Rockets lead it by one. Skip with ten points. Aaron Williams. Hits a three-pointer. That is the first three attempted and, of course, made by the Jazz as they go. Millsap is on McGrady. McGrady takes the rookie inside. Now, that's a mismatch in Houston's favor. That's the first time that Millsap hasn't done something right for the Jazz. Yeah. I don't know. You don't see that very often. Don't get in front of Chuck. The Chuck wagon hits everything. McGrady on Millsap. Yes. 
So he's taken the rookie to the basket twice. Well, you know, Millsap's a great, a great player inside, but he is w- way out of his league trying to guard T-Mac. Yeah. Fashionable the last two plays. See, T-Mac saying he can't touch me out there, touch him again, and then just quick first step, tries to get by him, and then when he's got Millsap moving, he stops and, and shoots that little floater in the lane. T-Mac's just too good to be guarded by Millsap. One-on-one, they better bring help. You got to double him. He's too quick off the dribble. Millsap is a power forward type. With Ennis Lynn. Tonight, yes. I think, I think the whole series. Boozer with a slam. Game tied at 41. Turnovers haven't hurt the Jazz as much as Houston. Yao has it. On Boozer, goes around. Boozer and slams it home. Yao Ming. Well, Boozer reached, and Yao said, when you reach, I'll teach. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Well, he was doing some teaching. Under a minute left. Professor Yao. (laughs) Here here it is again. Yao says, hey, welcome to class. Back to the live action. Harpering outside. Garacek with a jumper. Got it. Gets it back. Hangs on the rim. Yao tips it again. Tipped by Hayes. Tipped by Yao. And that's the end of the second quarter. So the Rockets win the first quarter 22 to 20. But the Jazz come back to win the second quarter. Taking the ball to the basket off the pick and roll. Now watch this first pick and roll. Darren Williams finds him on the roll. And he finishes with his right hand. Now on this next one, it's a little pick and roll, and after the penetration, he drives and finishes with his left hand. Kids, work on your right and your left if you want to be a great player. And Tracy McGrady, Clyde has really gone to the basket. Well, you look at what he's doing. He's forcing the tempo. He's six of seven for 15, 16 points, six rebounds. But when he goes to the basket and he finishes strong, that's the aggressiveness. I'd like to see more of that in the second half. Keep it simple, guys. Just give me the ball. <laughs> that's what Hakeem used to say. <laughs> O'Cour hits a three. He led the Jazz in three-point shooting in the regular season. Mamet O'Cour, he's uh, not had a good playoff series, but he hits one there. They're three for three now behind the arc. They have not missed. Down to Yao. Sets. Puts it up and in. So good patience. Good execution. Yao with the great pump fake. I'd like to see more of that, though. Yeah. Well, keep, keep going to it. Yeah, well, Coors has been gambling uh, this series, and it's paid off a couple of times. That time he gambled, it did not. Boozer over Yao. Second quarter. Grady pops out, looks for Yao. has got him. Yao working on Okur. Leans in. He's fouled, and it counts. Count the basket. Exactly, guys. Just what the doctor ordered. Get it into the big wall, the great wall on the low block. Too strong for a cool. Here he is. He gets it. He backs him down. No help, no help. And one. Good, strong move. He's aggressive. Notice he went to the basket and not away from the basket. That's a second foul on the Meadow Cool. Yeah, as soon as he came down on the arm, all three whistles went off. <laughs> Got it. I think the Rockets were just looking at that like he was going to make it. Kirilenko is the only player that saw that it was coming off the rim. Okura fronting Yao Ming. Yao goes baseline. Back the other way. Lost it. Okura. Hits the three. This is dangerous territory. They're in the danger zone now. They need to make a couple of stops. Jazz. Shoot it. Boozer with a miss. There's one. The Rockets, though, must stop and then make. Chuck Hayes. Down to Yao. He couldn't catch it again. Bad pass. Yeah. Boozer. Inside for two. Ten point lead by the Utah Jazz. 